Viewers and subscribers, today we want to talk about Dovi Magnum dissing Amari and defending Shensia. Alkaline gets addressed by Cranium and Bujo Bantan gets serious warning from Jamaicans over Kanye West visiting. So people, it has been a while since I talk anything about Alkaline. And the reason why I talk about Alkaline to the zine is because I hear Cranium come out. Well, Cranium was on Instagram live and him said some things about Alkaline and I definitely have to give him respect for that. You see me? Him talk about other artists as well in a zine, but the way how him talk about Alkaline, you know really hear artists that talk about Alkaline in that manner. You see me? Most of the time I disrespect Alkaline, I get disrespect. So when an artist actually come out and say something good about him, I may talk about apart from Jamil, um, Movado or certain artists where Alkaline align himself with. You see me? Most time you hear Alkaline, I get disrespect. People are call him, you know, Alkaline type of name. We don't know the things them with them say about alkaline, you see me? But anyway, as I said, Cranium was on Instagram live and him make people know, say, you have to respect alkaline regardless. All when you don't like him, you have to respect him. And I feel like, say, a lot of the people them who don't like alkaline must know, say, you are not care how much you eat the youth, you have to respect the work when you put in the business, you see me? Because what alkaline did in a short span of time, whole heap of people can't do that. Another thing that Cranium said is that even though you not hear Alkaline do a whole heap of song and you not see him presence a lot, you still have to know, say the boy, Dede, in presence is still felt, you see it? And remember, you know, Alkaline don't drop songs like some artists, you know, like even say Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel drops song almost every week, you see me? If not every other week. But me assure you, say when Alkaline drop a song now, maybe all three, four months time him drop another song, you see me? Sometimes it might go out longer than that, but the youth still have the fan base lock. Yes, I'm say people and and a whole heap of artists can do that. Some artists in you know, if them not drop a song every month or even every three weeks, the fans them forget about them, you understand? So that's why I tell you say when I forgive Alkaline credit and it's not a matter of me rating Alkaline more than Vibes Cartel or even other artists. This is not even about Vibes Cartel, but the reason why I say Vibes Cartel is because him is one of the most consistent artists right about now, you understand? Regardless of you know being incarcerated and thing. And and some people feel like say, Alkaline are one of the lazier artists them because they not drop songs like one time. Remember in 2016, every minute Alkaline have flood the market, but now him not do it that way. But even when him not do it, you still know, say, yo, when Alkaline drop a song, everybody around go listen to it. The people them will hate him and go listen to it, and the people them will love him and go listen to it. You understand what I say? But anyway, I'm going to play some of the live so you can hear exactly what Cranium Office say. And then one of the viewers can tell me if we must say no make sense. You see my people? So listen this. I tell a man the other day, like, when you think about Alkaline, right? The man enter the game, forward in the music, find song after song after song. I the only man me see in the music where really, you know. The man dead there ain't really see me, you know. Like, we know him, you know. I you know the man, you know. But it's like, you don't see the man in the brother. So, like, when you hear him, you have to just blood clad. Yo, it's just, I just alkaline. You get what I say? Musically, the man just, we don't know how the fuck him create that, that, um, thing, but it works for him, you fuck. That's all I mean. Him and one next one, we just have that blood clot in the way. You just, you don't see the man. But like, you just have to be, it doesn't even matter if you don't like the man, you just have to just bounce. <laughs> you have to bounce. You can't bounce. You have to just bounce. And that's why I tell a man to like, I like how dance all have become like, a, um, it become, for, for me now, like, for grow and like understand dance and music and like really pay attention to it now, I feel like with, with understanding, I love the movement of it because I feel like there's a shift in music where it seems like hip hop. Like, Alright, so I know that all the people good all not like Cranium because he's a big up alkaline now. But at the end of the day, like what I always say, what is due to Caesar, you have to give it to him, isn't it? Why so much people don't like alkaline? You know, one of the things that I notice, a lot of persons who don't like alkaline, him never do them nothing yet. 
them, them just don't like the youth regardless, you see me? And one of the reasons why me know so them not like alkaline are because the youth bust without getting any help from anybody, you see me? The most um, person would have said show him a strength a gully god and maybe I act in, you see me? Because obviously you know so them two men, they are two of the persons them who alkaline big up when him did up on the on stage interview. But otherwise from that, you know, see him a run back on a body, you know, see him a run back on a artist for boss, you understand? Most artists were in the business, them have to get handouts from somebody, even though nothing wrong with that, you know, nothing wrong if somebody put your hand, because at the end of the day, if you boss big and you have a bridge in what try, nothing wrong if you help him, but also it even feel better when you boss are for your own without people can say, you know, say if I never for me, you wouldn't boss, because enough artists will say them things about you, say, here are you, I'm sorry, I'm make your boss, you know, nobody can say that about alkaline, because him just did this thing for boss, you see me, and the youth have him head pan him body, one of the brighter artists them in the business. Some people might not agree with me. Well, if people might not like the comments they want me to say or the things they want me to say about Alkaline, but the truth is the truth, you see me? So I have to big up Cranium one more time for everything we say about Alkaline. That you there, him destined for greatness. And I feel like say, even though he not released no bag of song now, just look out for him forward, maybe the end of 2020 with some bangers. And the next thing what I notice is that when Alkaline get a bag of views on YouTube, them say my buy views. When him not get no bag of views on YouTube, them say him fall off. So it's like you can't do nothing for please people. If things are working a your way, them no one give you glory. If it not work in a your favor, then them try for bash you and say you fall off and this and that. But I one thing with Alkaline, regardless of the heat, and the bashing and all of the things them we him get him good for still maintain a composure and most of the time him don't even respond to people as a matter of fact 95 percent of the time alkaline just ignore the things them we must see because me know him see the comments them because him post pictures and him post things on him instagram pages me but more want to leave some comments and tell me if you not agree with cranium or you feel like say cranium just a hype up alkaline for no reason leave it in the comment section so dovi magnum disrespected amari i'm gonna explain to you now exactly Exactly what happened. Now, only remember the hit song with Amari. Well, me never even know if me for call it a hit song, but the song named Nico Zin. Only remember when Shinsia did a sing the song over. But ask if he help me. He say no, not a bum, but keep Nico. The mash up my life. The mash up my life. Well, it seemed like Amari never liked that. Amari did an interview basically dissing Shensia. You see what I say, people? And of course, you know, so Shensia kind of make fun of the whole interview. Now, basically, Shensia posts up a piece site on her Instagram, and the caption for that, Shensia say, I'm telling you about the dirty girl Shensia, you know. I'm not telling you, she no good. Donna Amari, hashtag mash up her life. So, when you can see Shensia make fun of Amari, and she not really take the whole situation serious. You understand what I say? Which most people not really take Amari serious because Amari cost coffee, she cost spice, she cost Shensia, she cost Tony Mataran. Boy, Amari does step on a, where that says a rampage. But anyway, this is when Dovi Magnum jump in and this Amari. So in the comment section, Dovi Magnum left a comment saying, Smaddy need to kill this insect before it lays eggs. <laughs> so no know said Dovi Magnum has style Amari as an insect. And I make people know, say, yo, you don't need to kill her before she lay eggs. And I'm sure Dovi Magnum don't mean literally kill her. You understand her physically, me should I say. Um, Dovi Magnum just I say, yo, um, somebody need to stop Amari in her tracks before she, you know, she lay eggs. <laughs> No people, me really have to laugh about this. But Dovi Magnum have to know say Amari, I go clap back at her. But just like most people, I'm sure that Dovi Magnum will just ignore her. You see me people? I me even say Ramesh left a comment saying, Shensia, that with you, you know, low people, nah listen, but you go on. A matter of fact, I want to hear Amari sing lighter. <laughs> and Russian I say, lol, Amari, you mash up my life. And we can see some of people are comment. Even um, Shaggy has said me are dead. Taurus Riley, Maka Diamond, Shana Controller tell her, um, Shensia say, yo, you love the F3, you know. You see my people? So everybody over there basically a laugh off of Amari. And of course, you know, so this might make Amari even more upset because people are laugh. But at the end of the day, what are they supposed to do? Are they supposed to take Amari serious? No. Remember, so Amari is a big superstar. Shensia try to for her song, Nico, you know. So at the end of the day, it looks like she don't want nobody to sing over her song. And to me still, if you have somebody like Shensia endorse her song, or 
or endorse your song on our platform, you know you should have feel good because that help you give you more boost and more everything. And if I was in Amari place, me that look for y'all do a collab with Shensia rather than for a custom because when time you go against everybody, even though them not to take you serious, but me know right now most of them would never do a song with you. Even though me can't really say that because they never say it out of their mouth. But personally, me just feel like them wouldn't do a song with her, you see me? Um, regardless of whether she cuss them or not, because them not take the thing serious. And them know say Amari is more known for cursing on social media rather than her music, you see me people? And this is not me disrespecting Amari because we need people like Amari on social media. I'm going to say it before, she's a very smart woman. She know what she do, you see me? Because when she says her buzzer died down, she do something different. Last time she come out with sex tape, then we see she drop her next video. So it's like she constantly reinvent herself a certain way. But some people feel like say her buzz are gonna die down by November. No, me can't put a span on it because as me say, Amari is a very controversial person and we might say she do something crazy where we end up at her both y'all two more months. But leave in the comments and make me know where you think about this. Where you think about Dove Magnum or this Amari and I make the people them know say them need to kill this insect before she lay eggs. Do you think Dove Magnum shouldn't this Amari because you know Amari might go up on her case because I remember in about four videos now me say Amari make for spice and Amari seem like she not stop Look like she want the queen of dance all head, is me? But leave in the comments as me say people and make me know where you think about this. So reggae superstar Bojo Bantan is getting some serious warning from some of the people him from Jamaica. You know them I tell him for go do a COVID-19 test. And basically all of this started because a photo started to circulate on social media showing Kanye West and Bojo Bantan in the studio, is me? And of course you don't know the COVID situation in America. And guess what now? Kanye West never did a wear a mask. So everybody start get concerned for Bojo and I say, yo, be careful and thing and thing, isn't it? Because remember, you know, people, all you have to do are around the people and stuff like that. But Kanye West also feel like the whole COVID-19 thing is the mark of the beast, isn't it? You know, say from the other day, Kanye West had do some rant and thing. Now, of course, the Jamaica Constabulary Force is being bashed because a lot of persons are saying, we quick for God for our own people, them. But when celebrities from overseas come out here, we make them break the rule, isn't it? And I tell the people, them are this the Jamaica Constabulary Force so much that they have to address the whole situation. I'm going to show you exactly what the response was. So it said, however, Dennis Brooks, senior communication strategist for the Jamaica Constable Air Force, told local media that even though West did not observe quarantine, he did not break any coronavirus protocol. There are different methods of gaining approval, so he could have applied to come here on business. Therefore, testing would have been different if he came here for four days to record an album or to get a beat from Bujabantan, then we could assumed that it would be a business trip he said he explained that quarantine measures are applied based on the purpose of travel now people to be honest my understand way must say but at the same time me just know so when somebody are coming out the country me or the prime minister said they must stay at home for 14 days or quarantine or whatever but i also understand that you can do the covid test from overseas and if you are you know if it come back negative if you know say you're forward in a jamaica then and you do the test and it come back negative then obviously you can come and par among certain people who um, I guess you would assume say them do the test and negative or whatever, you see me? So I feel like that might be the case. Kanye might did the um the test from overseas. But of course, you know, say some Jamaicans don't want to hear that. And I even see somebody left a comment and say, being a man and you saying ball can't get in trouble then, too much hypocrisy in this country. So you know, of course, them not really buy what the police are say, and them feel like say they are being hypocritical. They more go after our own people them than the superstars them are come from overseas, you see me? Do you think think that's the case do you think that Kanye West should have stayed you know in quarantine for 14 days even if he had did the test overseas and he come back negative and to be honest if him do the test overseas which I'm pretty sure that he did me not feel like say you know he must have to come and stay in the room for 14 days or you know isolate himself and all of that but at the end of the day still the Jamaican people them now go ease up because them feel like the JCF is being biased towards Kanye West but people, I don't know still, a lot of persons are one Bujabant and the same need for go do a COVID-19 test. And worse with Kanye West, you know, have on a mask and, you know, him not have on a mask, you know, people. I don't know still, if somebody are come from overseas, even if you do the test, I don't know. I just feel like, say, I don't want you close to me, you know, if you not have on a mask. 
maybe a mind over matter and to all the things are spread in a Jamaica, it just kind of make you feel a certain way, you understand? But the people, them just need to protect themselves at all costs, make sure they're so sanitized and do what they need for do. And that's all I'm going to say. And oh, some of the people, them feel like say, they must leave you saying Bolt and being a man alone if them now go charge Kanye West. But I'm pretty sure Kanye West long gone back a foreign, you see my people, so I don't know what they're going to do. Them can't charge him again. I'm pretty sure that Kanye West is not in Jamaica anymore. But as I say, people, leave in the comments and let me know where you think about this. And also, let me know when you think about Cranium speaking on Alkaline. And also, Dove Magnum dissing Amari, you see my people. And don't forget to go follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm going to put the links for those in the comment section, you see me. So click the link, give me a support. I'm out.